I'm back on the TV project. This is kind of just a little aside, or a little side project, I should say. Um, the plan is, I ain't got one. This isn't going to work, no matter how I want to slice and dice this, because heat shrink and wires that are, it's not going to, so we'll try that, because we know it's not going to work. We'll open that up, and, uh, that's too thin. What, like, what do you do with something this thin? What kind of wires are you soldering with that? But that's what they give. This might work. We can try some of that. So China just sent this uh, roller soldering station. And the big gimmick with it is that it comes with a bench vise. Now, obviously, if you're going to try to put something serious in here... It's just going to snap right off. But, um, powder coated, magnet doesn't work. I guess if you take the screws out, you can take the magnet off and actually mount it to something. It's got these pins on top. It's kind of nice. It's got its merits if you want to put a board or something in there. That'll definitely work, but way more than we need today. Um, yeah, this is never going to work. So I got a little heat shrink. We'll see if we can get, like, one of these with heat shrink. I wonder, can a guy... Can a guy do that? Maybe if I put both wires through. Run that all the way down. Then I can solder the one I need... Fold this wire back and then put heat shrink over the whole thing and call it good. This does not have to be a good repair, it just has to be a repair. So, with that, we'll go. Can you see what I'm doing? You probably can't. Well, I'll show you. Alright, we're going to twist that together to make a jurnt. So, there's a a jurnt. All right, and now we're going to get the little guy over here and stick that in. That's not going to hold. That's fine. This we'll put right here. That'll actually hold good. Here, take a look. See that? So now I can solder that. Let's see if I can actually do this without blocking everything. Nope. Can't do that. Take the iron out. Get that in position. And let us see if we can just get a little heat onto that. And a little solder. Wow, is that a terrible joint. It's dirty. It's like tarnished. I don't know why. I don't want to put too much heat on it. Okay, that's we'll call that good. Because that's all the good it needs. Right? Yeah. So we'll call that good. It's soldered. That's fine. And now we can take that pull it back up and over that and if you're saying, oh Jay, you screwed up, you should have put another piece on. No, I got a plan. I got a plan for that. So let me get that set. 
Uh, in fact, I think we can take this, okay, and then we'll do that. And then I need a heat gun, and uh, I have to get that. Normally I got my little guy, but uh, today I got the big one because I'm too lazy to get the uh, little one. So, I'll just do low. Blast it quick. And high. Let's come this side for a second. Good enough. Oh, she's shooting, yeah. Good. Okay. So that's fine. Now I gotta find um, more heat shrink that'll fit over this that won't shrink down enough. All right, I got some, that's later. In this case, it's actually a good thing that I got out the, uh, the big gun. Now, let me see, let me take this out of here for a second. And I'll see if I could show you what I'm doing. So we're gonna come over here and go like this, crossing them, just barely, and then twisting them onto one another, like that, and like that. No, it fell apart. I can't do this looking through the camera screen. I'm going to make a shitty joint like that, because it's no effort November, and, um... That's how it wants to work with me, so we'll call that good. This uh, iron, I, I didn't get my, uh, what do you call it, sponge and stuff ready. So it's not uh, in the best condition. This is a tight spot. I should really switch hands, but we'll just try it and see. There you go. A little solder on there. Okay. That one soldered up better than the other. Still not happy with it. That's too much solder. Well, like I said, I'm not looking for a good connection, just a connection. All right, so that worked. That's a good thing. I should have fixed this a long time ago. <laughs> har, 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 har. All right. So there's that. And with that, I can just sort of yip. And we'll just make believe that that never happened. Like that. Now, we're going to take this really too big stuff. This uh, heat shrink from Bella Bay's. And run that over the entire operation here. That's the idea. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass because it doesn't want to go. It's like too big but too small. And then over here, it doesn't want to move anymore. Okay, I got to work with this, so give me like 10 minutes. So it's not working. This is so wonky and wrong. I'm going high. Let's see what we can shrink this down to. Why are you bending? Don't bend! Don't fuck up on me! I don't know how much more shrink it'll do over here. Shrink in that. Okay. 
Okay. It's, it worked. <laughs> it's still a little hot. I might be leaving fingerprints in the dough. And you try to put some ketchup on it, and the mix with the grease turn the bread into pink dough. <laughs> then you grab it and get fingerprinted. Yeah, probably. So that's not going to shrink anymore there. But we did end up with a very nobody else has one of these this i should just start making this nobody else has one of these this is this is high end this is high end stuff that's still too hot to hold oh well um yeah so that was that so i finally fixed this now i can't remember this was probably a project that's been sitting, how do we say, in the queue <laughs> for, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, just like 13 years, easy, if not even more. I can't remember when I got that um, VGA up converter. That this thing ultimately ties into. Um, I, I don't know when I got that. So whenever that was is when I kind of rigged this up or very shortly after. And uh, it was just some old parts that were laying around there. It's not molten anymore. And this way it will convert a barrel jack to an RCA plug. Totally purpose built for what it needs to be and will fit perfectly and now we have our white our yellow and a red plug which is not right but that will plug into here and give us our red and there is all of everything this way <sighs> yellow white and red <laughs> so there's your composite connection with stereo audio from over here that will go back over to the bar now I get this I'm getting this itch to do more with less to do less with more that thing over there will handle S video I don't have more audio wires. I could run an Ethernet cable and terminate it and make my own and I don't know and I don't know what to hook up S video from over here that needs to go over there. It's just an option that's available. I don't know. It's something that could be done but um, I don't know what to do. Like I could hook the DVD player up that way. Or, you know, something like that. The I could do that. I could hook the cable box up with the component to the TV, and it will also at the same time output as video that I could send over there, and then the Android TV box, I could change that and That'll output HDMI and also composite, which I could send over the composite wire over there. And then, because it doesn't do S video and that, so I mean, like the options are there. I don't think I'm going to choose any of those options. I think what I'm going to do is find where in the fuck this goes, pull it down, back, through and come down below where it is supposed to belong and that way oh actually you know I don't even need to oh dick I don't even need to the TV has composite video and left and right audio output 
So theoretically, any input it's taking should be downscaled to composite. And that's something I got to test. But if that works, then anything that would be displayed on this TV can be displayed at the bar at the very same time. Now, to start a party, you should always have little snack foods for people to nibble on. See something like these. They're very light and crunchy. Hmm, is this a mint cream? Well, a mint flavor. You see, these are little snack crackers with toothpaste on them so that you can eat and brush your teeth at the very same time and your mother won't even be mad at you. Cool. Okay. So we got that one knocked out. That was just a little side project that took... You know, a lot longer than it's supposed to, but that's exactly how these projects are supposed to be. So I'll get out of there. Still got to run a couple more wires in there. I got to run Ethernet from the uh, patch panel in. So we got to get that patched in. Um, I got to run two, actually, but should do them at the same time, but, you know, that's more work. So we'll probably just do one, and then I'll do the other one later. And after I get those wires run, just the one, then what I can do, where are you? There you are. Then what I can do is come back and put all the crap in the cabinet. That's like the next big part of the project, to put everything in the cabinet down here. I got to see if I can turn the stair. I like I don't want to I really don't want to touch that because I'm afraid as soon as I touch it it's going to stop working because <laughs> you never know with stuff especially this old that's from the 70s I mean it's it's got fucking eight tracks so yeah um so I got I don't think it fits the normal way because I think I tried that years ago and it didn't and that's why it's been sitting like that but I guess I have to revisit that because I don't remember. So I got to rip every, 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 everything out and kind of start from scratch. And if I can get that to kind of sit in there sort of a little bit, then we're off to a great start. And then I could put the rest in. And then I can get all of that connected and have most of the wires already run. But there will be some more. <laughs> So we'll have to do that and then figure out some other stuff. And that's all I got for now. Um, tomorrow, I think, the WIF is going to help me put the TV back up on top there. Um, so this is really the last you're going to see of that. Just like that. And the TV will go back and I'll figure out this wire. Um, oh, actually, you know, I could leave it right there. I think, does it have, let's just check quick. Does it have enough slack? Oh. Can you Oh, it's got. It's got. Look. It's perfect. Oh, if that output works, shit. Man, that's a solution and I'm also painting myself into a corner. One day, God willing, no, but one day, this TV is going to die. Guaranteed, the next TV will not have a composite output. And then, I'm fucked. <laughs> but for now, it'll work. The other little aspect of that, which I'm not a hundred thousand billion percent positive about, but probably will end up working that way, is it would mean that this TV has to be on in order to output, and I'm not sure that I like that, so I might end up running it down just off the cable box so it can display TV, which was the original intent. So this way, if it's the Super Bowl, for example, and you are hosting the Super Bowl at Jay's Bar and Club J, there can be two screens that have the same picture on them at the same time. And that is not 
um, something that is ever going to happen, but I would like it to be that way. So in the event it ever does happen, then it can happen. <laughs> okay, enough rambling. Too many videos, too much stuff I did today. I got uh, videos to edit, and I got to fucking relax sometimes. So that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.